All right, how you doing today? This is DC Sports Talk. Ryan Rose alongside Daniel Miller. We're doing the usual. Not toilet talk today, but regular good old DC Sports Talk. What's up, Daniel? What's up, man? How you doing? Doing well, man. Uh, but I could be doing better. Washington Capitals swept away by the Tampa Bay Lightning. And uh, what are your thoughts on that, Dan? Well, I thought they had a chance. I said a few weeks ago that they could have won in five because of the Ovechkin factor, but technically that didn't mean anything because they ended up getting swept. Ovechkin made that ridiculous guarantee after they were down 0-3 that they were going to come back and win the series, but obviously that didn't happen. Too much Martin St. Louis, too much Vincent LeCavier. Uh, Tampa Bay was clearly a better team, and they moved on, and the Capitals are at home, and Bruce Boudreaux better start looking in the one ass for another job because I don't think they're going to bring them back. Yeah, definitely. Martin with San Louis, as we said before, we'll say it again. Martin San Louis, he was the answer. Ovechkin went down. He guaranteed that he was going to win the series. Like you said, it was ridiculous. Anyway, last Friday we were on the Georgetown M Street Bridge. Miller predicted that the Caps would take it in five. It's one week later, and they're swept away into the into the atmosphere. Boom. So all you Caps fans, too bad for you, I guess. They got to wait until next year. Sorry about that. Well, we're going to change gears now. We're going to talk about the Washington Nationals Baseball Club. Um, not your favorite team, nor my favorite team. Why should they be? Uh, they went to Philadelphia on the road, right. got smacked around, right. swept. They did have a good uh, series versus San Francisco Giants, a series beforehand, uh, taking three out of four games, which was a huge shock. Now they're going to Florida. They're going to play the Marlins. Marlins are second place in the NL East. Uh, two games behind uh, the Phillies. So uh, tell me what you think about Washington Nationals and their chances uh, down in Sunshine State. Well, they definitely have a chance. They have to get some hitting protection from Jason Worth. They got to get hitting uh, pitching back up from Levi Hernandez and the rest of the crew. So we'll see what happens. They're still at the bottom of the cell of the NL, NL East, but the baseball season is a marathon, not a sprint. So they still have a good chance to uh, turn their season around and do a little better. They just have to get like I said, protection from Jason Worth. I mean, they no longer have Adam Dunn anymore, so Worth is like that big uh, million dollar bat that they have to get. And like I said, we have to be my Hernandez has to do his thing, and Strasburg, whenever he comes back or gets right, he has to come in there and contribute as well. So that's their that's the key, is hitting and pitching. Yeah. Well, definitely good analysis by you, Dan. And uh, I like, like to see it, but I don't think that I want to see the Nationals win, seeing as I'm a Florida Marlins fan, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, let's uh, talk about Washington Redskins, and then we'll wrap it up on the subject. I know you were talking to me earlier about Donovan McNabb. Right? Tell me what you learned about McNabb. Well, recently, Larry Fitzgerald of the Arizona Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals wide receiver, held a private workout for he and some of his teammates, and one of the guys there was Donovan McNabb, who has a home in Arizona. So it could be a little bit of foreshadowing. You may possibly see McNabb throwing the ball to Larry Fitzgerald this uh, season, which I don't think is a bad idea because give a quarterback no weapons, they're not going to be effective. So the Arizona connection between Fitzgerald and McNabb would be a nice one. So you're telling, you're saying Santana Moss is nobody? No, I'm not saying that. Santana Moss is a good receiver. I'm just saying he's not maybe the caliber of a Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, this guy has put up 1,000-yard seasons each of his, before the last five seasons. He's a Pro Bowl player, three years removed from the Super Bowl. So Fitzgerald's an impact player. Oh, of course Larry Fitzgerald's got more prowess on the football field than uh, – your boy Santana, my boy Santana Moss from the I, I U. Like, I like, I like Moss too. Yeah, but uh, we gotta have uh, Leonard Hankerson from right. the University of Miami, from the yep, U, the coming into uh, the Washington Redskins camp. Yep. Doesn't have a quarterback yet. That's determined. We're gonna need Hanky to get get somebody to throw the ball to air it out to him, because he could definitely be a deep threat this year for the Redskins. I like that pick in the draft. Matter of fact, I love that pick in the draft. That's probably, that was probably their best pick they made out yeah. of like all the 12, 13 picks that they had. And so, they got him late, too. They got him late. So, sleeper. Yeah, sleeper definitely. Uh, definitely a great pick for the Washington Redskins. All right, Daniel, so uh, I guess that does it for us today. Yep, we'll see you next time. Next time, you we get uh, you, can, you catch us guys at a bathroom near you when we do our second edition of Toilet Talk. So, we'll see you there. And we'll just another day to piss it. Yeah, peace out, man. One.